Hey guys, this is Namushek and today I am gonna discuss how to fetch XML data that is stored inside a MySQL database and parse it using a simple XML load string method and display it on our browser. Okay, here you can see this is a, a simple connectivity or configuration file uh, that we should um, include in our file. I have already written it down in my file on p.php. See, you, um, we have to use MySQL connect method and we need to pass um, our port um, 127.0.0.1 or localhost. You can also type in localhost and then root username is root and I haven't set any password for my um, uh, MySQL server. That's why it's been empty here. And then we need to select the database or uh, of our MySQL database, which is in my case, my database name is XML Pets, and we need to pass this connectivity uh, variable inside our MySQL select data, uh, select database. Okay. So this is our configuration file. Uh, with this uh, two lines of code, we are um, will be um, uh, connecting to our MySQL database. And now we need to create our database and a table inside the database. Okay, we have already I have already created a database with the name XML Tuts. So just click on this 127.0.0.1 and then click on databases. And here you need to type in your name of your database and then click create. The the database will get created. Uh, XML Tuts. Whenever you click on create, uh, and a database with the name XML text will get created. I have already created a database here, and now I'll be creating a new table. Same XML object okay. and fields two. Okay. then id and data id will be integer and data will be var cap let's say 50 and let's make it as plus 500 and here primary key auto implemented okay here collision okay UTF 16 which one is here okay now save it okay now we have created our database and we have created a table inside the database with the name xml object and we just need to write a code and okay let us first insert J uh, xml data inside our xml object so i have already added um, xml data inside one of my table so i'll be using the same data copy this and the data is like this okay this is a simple xml data come here click on database and click on XML object and uh, okay, insert here. Let's paste it out and click on go. Okay, the data gets inserted. See here. Okay, now we need to write that code. Okay, I have already written a code uh, for this. First, I have included 
our configuration file which I have created inside here uh, which I have discussed a few minutes back we need to include this configuration file inside in my inside my git data.php file include once config.php and then we need to write a query using mysql query method uh, and passing a query here inside this method uh, saying that select star from xml select everything from the table called xml object and here our database is xml touch but our table name will get changed because we have created an another table with the name of xml object and here i'll be, I'll be using while loop to iterate over this database so right now i have only one entry if i have more than one entry then i will be able to display all the entries i'll be fetching out all the entries from the database with this while loop and uh, using mysql fetch object uh, i'll be getting the data in the form of object from the database and then once i get the data it will get stored inside this variable called raw and with the and then once i uh, the data gets collected inside this variable and then we need to refer to the data inside um, data inside the table which is stored inside this variable row with the help of this symbol then data okay this data field should be similar to the field of the table here okay, then the result will get stored inside the variable called result set and then this result set will be passing to our method simple xml load string by which we will be parsing the data okay and then the result set will get stored inside this variable info and then with the info field i will be referring to the content field to the i will be referring to the content which is this one content field of my xml data so now i must get this field please accept my invitation okay so let's save it and come to the browser and dot stp slash file name get data dot php dot php okay now you can see please accept my invitation now i got uh, the tag or the data that is being stored inside content content tag inside my xml data which is this content tag um, what we did is we save an xml object inside our uh, mysql table and then we fetch this data xml data using these php statements once i get the data I pass that data inside this simple XML load string where we'll be parsing the data and with the help of this variable we are referring to the content tag of the XML data. So if I want different information like from okay now it should display John on our browser. See John is displaying if I want to display 2 it will display 2 macro ok so this is how we can fetch uh, the uh, xml data from uh, our mysql database and we can parse and we can display the data that is in stored inside our xml object ok so I hope you like this video I hope you got some useful information out of this video how to connect to mysql database and how to fetch the data or how to fetch uh, xml data uh, and how to parse it and how to display it on the browser <coughs> oh, sorry guys okay if you like this video subscribe to my channel and please click on the small button which is called like which appears at the bottom of the video 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.